So Danny, I wouldn't take it too personally that, you know, I got to go to the D&D premiere a full week before the one you got invited to. I mean, sure, I got to see the movie 10 days early, but that's fine. That's just because I'm a true D&D gamer. They don't all have to be insults. Oh, do, really? I thought it was- Every opening doesn't need to attack I thought it was, me. I thought it was the, the cold shoulder opening. I am getting angrier and angrier mm. every it's just episode. just a slow descent into because madness. Because every episode is like an hour and a half of yeah. us coming in, like I'm getting into the office, like I take off my jacket. Where's like, like, hey, how are you? I missed you. Yeah. You look great. I like your hair. Did you get haircut? Uh, it's yeah. just, it's like such a low energy. And it's like, yeah, how's it going? Oh, how was that friend you saw this week? Yeah, oh, yeah. cool. I'm thinking about doing this for the pod. Oh, you got dinner yeah. after today? Yeah. yeah, okay, cool. Oh, that's so where, cool. Where are yeah. you going? Where are you getting? Yeah, cool, cool. How's it going, anyway. friend? Yeah, um, anyway, I'm going to hit record. Right. We'll do the clap. Um, and go yeah. fuck yourself. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what it is. Um, yeah, so for anyone who doesn't know, <laughs> I got, I never get invited to, per oh. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm saying you, but like you did get invited. Though. Well, Okay, so I never get invited to premieres, like, He's on my own. Six months, mind you. Six months. I, but you're always throwing your dick in my face. Guess your who? big premiere I dick. Quite literally, I got invited to a premiere as Jose's friend. And I'm very, that's very cool. And yeah. I'm very appreciative of the plus oneing I've been able to do. Of course. But I finally got reached out by uh, Dungeons & Dragons. Uh -huh. Not Wizards of the Coast, some other person subsidiary yeah. of board games and tabletop i got apps. reached out to see the like 4xd crazy mm -hmm. roller coaster version yeah, of they it slap you in the face every yeah. time somebody gets hit every time it rains yeah. in the movie you get drenched and there's fire shooting out of torches it's from basically the, sides. the blue man group but like yeah. no drumming section yeah it's stomp yeah. but you're the trash can <laughs> oh my god yeah. i've always wanted stomp on ice yeah st i yeah. Really want to stomp in my chair could you imagine stomp it like <laughs> Crumping on skates. <laughs> They're just like slipping yeah, all over the place. Yeah. But um But it's our third so, meniscus today. So I was I was invited to that and I was excited and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna invite Nick. He's done so much for me. I'm very appreciative of everything he's brought me to and all the people he's had me meet. My network is your network. And I My network is three people. You think? Yeah. And I texted you and I was like, yo, you want to go to the Dungeons and Dragons like 4XD premiere together? And you were like, yo, I'm going to the real premiere in two days. And you're like, oh, well, let's go together in like a week. And I was like, yeah, I got it tomorrow. I don't know. They just, uh, they want me to see it early, you, you know? Bastard. You bastard. So, you absolute bastard. My one win, my one fancy win. <laughs> I, it did, it was like, it was the Thanos meme. I was like, but this does put a smile on my face. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw like... you were being nice and I was like, <laughs> oh. I heard, I heard his knuckles cracking yep. from North Hollywood. Yeah, like... Just like, oh, I hate to break it to you, bud, but I have to be Jose's friend for an yeah. afternoon. So I, I saw the D&D movie, uh, actually very good. Like actually like, like very good. Like surprisingly, like very good. Like a, a incredible action adventure. Uh, if you've ever played D&D, it's cool. If you haven't played D&D and you just like fantasy, really cool as well. Um, I would say Chris Pine was fantastic. Nice. I'm not going to spoil anything for you. Uh, the girl who plays Letty, the woman. I'm ready got, for she, an accidental spoiler. She got big. Oh, damn. And, like, she got like big. And she's always been like a strong lady. Yeah. And I love a strong lady. Uh, and I was just like, I want, and there's like scenes where she's just like breaking dudes' necks. Nice. And I was like, me next. <laughs> nice. Um, and so it was It was actually really like incredible. Um, but to, to not talk about the movie... I'm I'm getting ushered in. Uh, Paul is Juju's uh, like PR guy. Nice. It's like this British dude, and he's like, and I've met him no less than a dozen times. No, right, I, every right. every time I'm like, hey Paul, how you doing? Oh, cool. Where's Juju? What? How's you're your day going? Chipping away. Yeah, I'm, like, like, I'm yeah. just like, <laughs> let me into the circle. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm here. And so I'm like, hey Paul, how you doing? We're, we we literally talk before the, the before the screening. Right, he's ushering all of us in. Goes, uh, Jose, you're here. Jose's friend, you're here. I fucking, it was literally like, it was the GTA death sound. I was just like, oh, <laughs> yeah, like, oh no. Just get wasted on the literally, spot. Literally, I yeah. was just like, I have met, I've been like, I'm Nick. We've taken photos together at yeah. events. Jose's friend. I was like, oh, Hollywood. Hey, you, how are you? You see, that's the difference between you and I is yep. that you have ambitions to become Nick at one of these events. What? I'll, I'll get to Nick. I, Maybe I, even like, mm. I can't oh, even. I, I I'll take. I'll take Snapchat. I would. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah. I'll take Blank's friend any day of the week. <laughs> I, the the first time I met uh, Juju, who's Straw Hat Goofy, uh -huh. he like runs most of these premieres. Massive TikTok and Instagram following for anyone who doesn't know. Um, but you do know. Yeah. Um, 
the first time I met him, like he comes over, we're like sitting in the, in one of the rows in the theater and Jose like calls him over. And he's like, Hey man, how's it going? And comes over and he's standing right between my legs. And I'm just like down here, like, Hey, Juju. Hi, hi, hi. 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 It's me. It's Danny. Mine. Thanks hi. for, thanks for inviting me so much. Thanks so much. I, thank you for this event. I yeah. appreciate that. They yeah. had a full conversation with Juju right over my crotch. Oh. And then finally he was like, he was like, yeah, it's my friend Danny. He was like, hey, Danny, how's it going? And he dabbed me up. Uh-huh. He was like, all right, I got to go. Your were like, like yeah, soaking just, wet. Like, <laughs> <just> like, <laughs> and he's just like, oh. Yeah. And he's like, I got to go wipe this slime <laughs> off me. You fucking like, slime person. <laughs> yeah, <I was> like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, and then, yeah, and he was like, I gotta go, and I'm like, yeah, okay, no, that makes sense. Yeah, and they left, and I was like, I just slimed Juju, did you see? <laughs> did you like, see? Look at how wet his hand yeah, is, that was me. That's me. That was me, yeah. I'm a wet boy. You see that big hand print on his jeans? That's me. <laughs> that's me. So yeah, it was awesome. It's my uh, grease. Yeah, it was cool to see everybody, because yeah. like, I, it is nice to like, because I've been to a lot of them, and Juju always invites the same people. So like, I got to network, I got to meet King Lion, who's like a, I guess he's like a comic book uh, anime guy. I was going like, to say, is that a fighting game character? King, king Lion. Lion. It's kind of like the uh, the Tekken character. Yeah, the, King. Yeah, yeah king. The, the Tiger King. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh my God, he is the Tiger yeah, King. That's why. I was like, you went to the Tekken tournament? That would have been sick. But yeah. I met him. His wife wasn't there. They're King and Queen Lion. Uh, but cool guy. Uh, and it, it was interesting. And it's just like, it's also, I, every time I go to these like influencer events, I'm reminded they're hilarious. Yeah. Like they're just they're straight up. Hilarious. They're It's just, it's a dick measuring contest for like three hours and it's so funny. They're like, oh dude, what's your app? And like, you like you hand like, oh, here's my at. And like the here's the thing, it's the worst. It's the <laughs> I'm the worst. But like they hand me it and I'm like, lower number. And I'm like, nice. <laughs> I am such a cock. I'm the fucking worst. But I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'll follow you back, I guess. I guess. I don't know. I'll well, make it I'll make it into my schedule. But and then I just me and Jose are talking to some TikToker who will not be named. Uh and he was like, just like showing us his cash app. He's like, oh man, look how much money I'm making off TikTok these days. Pulled up his cash app and was like, yikes. This is what I made last week. And I was like, wow. I was like, that's tough. Listen, it was a fifth of what I make in a week, but I didn't say a goddamn thing. (laughs) I didn't say a fucking thing. I was like, that's really nice, dude. That, that's just such a weird, like, hi, I'm Danny Mata. How much do you make after taxes? It was, it was. Like, what do we, what do we bring in this up for? It was a loose 30 seconds into our conversation. Yeah. He was like, oh yeah, like I'm, I'm getting into this like TikTok long form thing. And like, check like, this is just my PayPal, like from this week. Weird. And I was like, why would you show me that? I just, I was like, why would yeah. you show me? What if I was like <laughs> struggling? Like what if I was just like, I was just like, oh yeah, I, I walked here. Yeah, from I, like, I lost my home. I was just docked week. where I live. Yeah, but yeah, I, just, I, was, I, I walked here from Nick's town. Yeah, from yeah. my address. Yeah, yeah, from, yeah. Here, here's exactly like, I, yeah. I pulled up my phone. Here's how far I walked. Yeah. So it was just, it was, it was wild. And I was just like, I was so, That's fun. so brought back into like, oh yeah, influencers are hilarious. That's like, I want more of that. Yeah. I've only had like pretty good experiences so far, yeah. which is great. And like, if we're really talking about it, I'd prefer that. Yeah. But every time I go, I'm like, I do want someone to be like, oh, nice. You're fake and shitty. Mm-hmm. Like I hate the worst. The absolute worst is when I go to one of these events and Juju was like this. The absolute worst. Incredible person. Is when I go and so they nice. are identical to their like persona, persona. Yeah. and very charismatic. Yeah. And I'm like, the fuck are you doing guy like be awkward and shy like yeah Yeah. now now i look like an idiot when i go to cons and people are like why are you screaming at me like like, sexualize me (laughs) yeah Yeah, i'm i'm nice to meet you i I, i'm mata daniel (laughs) nice to meet yeah hi i'm meet nice to mata you have a guy (laughs) just clam your hands (laughs) yeah yeah, yeah. (laughs) just stuck (laughs) Please unsuction for me, yeah. sir. So yeah, it's just it's funny because like the thing is like the, the public perception of like influencers is usually that, mm. but like most of them just dudes and girls, really, really cool people. Yeah, just like nerds, yeah. you know. But like we also exist in the nerddom space. Like I've met people that are like in the beauty, like in the beauty <laughs> side through Dorothy, and like that's where it gets worse. I had oh really? Like if you're not in like like that's I fandom, yeah. You can be kind of the worst. That's fine. Like, I've met some like big time, like like top one percent of TikTokers at like I think it was VidCon, which was mm-hmm. awful. Uh, and I think you, yeah, I don't, I don't a girl remember. almost died there. Wait, what? Remember she broke her back. Oh, the porn star. <laughs> yeah. Was it Lana Rhodes? No, it was not. Was it Lana Rhodes? I don't know. It's a porn star turned Twitch streamer, which is yeah. a funny because you. I feel like it's usually the opposite. Um, but she, yeah, she broke her back. Wasn't me. I was talking to this dude though. He's got like twelve million on TikTok, yeah. and I'm just like. 
And like, he's like, the guy, his videographer's like, oh, I'm a big fan of yours. Like, I love Naruto. I was like, oh, cool, thanks, man. I was like, I was like, what are you doing here? He's like, oh, I'm his videographer. I was like, nice to meet you. He's like, right. Oh. Wow. I, I was just wow. like, we were just chatting. He was like, F-. the whole conversation was just like, fire. Nice. Fire. Nice. The videographer's fire. the douche. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. This was the, this was oh, the guy. Oh, got you. And got like, you, the videographer's yeah. a super nice, like, super nice guy, yeah, but he was just you. like, oh, yeah, I have to go get, give a talk. And he's like, talks to the videographer. He's like, What's my talk about again? Like they're on the way to it. Wow. I, was like, I was like mind blown by it. That's but tough. Yeah, most people, good people. Yeah. That's like, I wanted, a part of me wanted Juju to like shake my hand and pull me in and be like, I could buy and sell you in a fucking minute. You don't deserve yeah. to be here. And you, I, I'm trying to revoke the yeah. plus one just to keep <laughs> yeah, motherfuckers like, like you out. Yeah. And then you could spit in my palm and I'd be like, thank you, sir. You're more, like, somehow please. it's drier now. Yeah. <laughs> somehow. <laughs> This is this is less wet than it was before. I take out like my phone and look at my bank account. No, I'm like, no, why no. is it dropping? Like, <laughs> the stocks. Yeah. We need to sell. So that's I, the end of our cold opening. Yeah. Uh, I'm Nicholas Connor, also known as NC Hammer 23 on all the platforms. Uh, go and watch the D and D movie. It's actually it's actually fun. I, I I'm I guess I'm currently influencing, which isn't like me. Usually I like the D influence. Uh, um, that's why you'll always be somebody's friend. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's uh, like as long as you're willing to pay me, I'll be your yeah. friend or give me free popcorn. That's that's what I got yeah. to go see D&D. It was like a free Diet Coke and a popcorn. And I was like, <laughs> you know what? That's all it takes. Sure, I drove 45 minutes to be here, yeah. but I'll say something good about your movie. <laughs> yeah. And then they had me do an interview afterwards, and I was shitting it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, just... They had a dude with a boom. I've never seen a guy with a boom before. No. He was, That's he a pretty looked, standard. It looked awful. <laughs> really? You tell me people do that all day long? Oh, it kills. Their shoulder strength is unbelievable. I could do this. I could do this for 30, 45 seconds. It's, it's, a, so, it's a physical 100 it's challenge. It's horrible. It's horrible. It's just, and it's like, it's so long. And then they were like, everyone, the thing is they were filming, they were doing the interviews in the lobby yeah. of a movie theater. Yeah. And they're like, rolling sound, <laughs> yeah. shut up, rolling. I'm like, you're doing it in a fucking lobby. We were just in a movie theater. Do it there. Yeah, that they're, is wild. Yeah, and so Are like, you, where's this interview going to be? Oh, uh, I don't, they'll probably stitch it together. I have the video. That's I can so send it to Stank. I'd rather not though. I said, I'd rather um, you do a lot of times. I'd rather, um, I'd rather you do. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> they were like, oh, and so what's in this for people who haven't played D D? And I was like, ah, oh. <laughs> there was action, and it's fantastic. The fu- uh, the uh, the com- the comedy was great, and I was just like, I need to get the fuck out of here. Yeah. And the last question nailed it. No ums, but the first three. Yikes. What happens if you like? Do they ask you if you enjoyed it first? Like, oh yeah. Good, because I was going to say, what happens if, like, if I come out of the movie yeah. and I hate it and, like, the guy's like, hey, can we get your interview? And like, I'm yeah. like, I don't know. And they get me all set up. And I'm like, I, I don't like I didn't, I didn't. got to stop this. Please, I don't want to lie. I don't know. I don't want to lie. They <laughs> slip 100 in your pocket. Yeah. You're like, never mind. It was incredible. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually happy this is the first interview I've ever had to do after a screener. Because, like, if we had gone to, like, any other movie that we've been to, I've been to, like, The Gray Man, which was fine uh the man from toronto which was awful a lot of men yeah i know a lot right? of the Fucking man down with the patriarchy uh and then we saw the new me and jose saw the first two episodes of the Na- the new national treasure tv show you said that so fucking bad it was Good. so funny that's what i thought yeah. and if i if i was like if they had put me like to put the influencer smile on and been like <laughs> and just lie because like that's what we do yeah like we just lie for like brands <laughs> like i like i'm sorry that's the that's the truth it's what you do i don't lie on this podcast you're not you're not tanking my fucking the, credibility this podcast with you is the realest i've ever been i use at most two products i've advertised for okay i'm sorry jeez what uh, are you doing Nick? i'm sorry this is this is my safe space listen i use all the products i've been sent and enjoy them keeps i use uh-huh absolutely and everything else. You know what? You're right. Everything yeah. else. What are you, yeah. what are you doing? Yeah. Do you no, not you're absolutely want right. sponsors? Thank you. Thank you, all the brands. Do you not want viewers mm. or sponsors? What's happening I right now? I appreciate every single one of you What is this career suicide? No, Double no. homicide <laughs> going on Danny's right now. Listening. He actually is the one who put me up to this. Yeah, all right. Jesus. So, Daniel, anyway, who are you? Yeah. I'm Dan. I'm Danny Mata. I'm mm. a resident plus one uh, sticky octopus boy. <laughs> we uh, have boiled chicken, D yeah. battery, sticky octopus. Oh my God. This podcast has been the fucking worst for my self esteem. And I blame you and I blame the podcast because I, I shut up. I'm trying. Shut up. I'm because on your I side. shut up. Because I posted a TikTok the other day. It was so mean. It wasn't the first time I've posted like my body, but I've like, <laughs> I've posted myself in like a crop top before. I've posted like, thirst traps on tiktok yep. 
but usually it's like just my voice. But the other day I posted a video, it was an unboxing video. Somebody sent me like the entirety of Helsing. So much manga. So much manga. The entirety of Helsing, the like box set of solo leveling, mm -hmm. which apparently isn't all of solo leveling. I thought it was. There's five. It's still going. It's still, it's still coming going. out though. Yeah. yeah. But um, sent me a ton of manga. And so my arms are in it. Mm -hmm. My fucking unlovable wig <laughs> arms are in the video. All the comments, every comment. Oof again, beast yeah. titan. Yeah, what is werewolf. this guy, a werewolf? Yep. What the, what the fuck is going on, Nick? I, they're not, I listen. listen These or, aren't weird arms. They're not, I don't, here's the thing, Daniel, I'm on your side. And I made a video, I made a video stitching the video of like Danny doing his unboxing. And I stitched the part where like, it's Danny's arms. And I'm like, <laughs> everybody stop being mean to Danny. Unless of course you're doing it in our YouTube comments, in which case you can be mean to Danny there. That's the only place you can do it. And I'm being like, hey, I had that amount of hair as Danny when like before I started shaving my mm -hmm. arms. Uh, and and it's completely normal. And I, feel Danny, like, I feel like I was getting canceled yeah. by the way you were running to my defense. Yeah, like. and, so, and so Danny watches the video without audio <laughs> yes. and is like, fuck you. And I was like, I, <laughs> what? I flew off the handle. Yeah. All I saw was the video of me with my arms and yeah. then your fucking face pop up. And I'm like, you. <laughs> it's like, you, it's like, you bitch. And I was like, I was like, watch the video, Daniel. I'm in your defense. Who is you? Vogan. Uvagin. Who is that? What is that? Hunter Hunter, Phantom Troop. Uvagin. Let from me the, see. From, from the from the non-ant boys. I there's so many comments being like, I didn't know you were Uvagin. What yeah. is this? Uvagin is an enhancer from I'm Hunter. not this man! I he's but the thing, this is there's fucking so, Wolverine. There's so it is a very good facsimile. Uh but there is so few hairy anime characters. Wow. Like think think about think about that. What are the hairy anime characters? Um Beast Titan? Beast Titan. Uvagin. <laughs> I don't know. Let me look through these comments. I'll probably yeah, find exactly. more. You will know. I've got uh, werewolf. This, this one update. Bigfoot just released. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, they're so mean. Bigfoot to you. just dropped. Like, what the fuck is oh, that? Oh my god, dude. Wow. How are you that hairy? This one's just a just a genuine they're question. Just, they're just curious. Just don't even can't even fathom. Maybe they want that much hair. There's a little blushy emoji next to it. How so are you maybe, got it? Maybe yeah, they're maybe. into it. This one says wig arms. I hate that that stuck around. This guy said Sun Wukong looking arm. Oh my fuck. <laughs> Danny Wig Arms Mata. He's like a small beast titan. Should have been on Teen Wolf. <laughs> this guy just fucking unloaded. This guy just walked into my bedroom and opened fire. This one just says bros hairy as heck. What the actual fuck? It's not even, it's not, it's I, not. I like the ones who were like, what the fuck is this? Do we have NASA Ew. on this? Yeah, like. Shame. Yeah. Shame. Like, unfollowed because of this shit. Fucking like, hairy arms plus ratio. Yeah, plus, like, plus, plus cold plus resistance. Plus L take. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> God damn. I would like to come out and say that you're beautiful. Thanks. I find you very attractive. You shouldn't have to come out and I, say that listen, is the thing. That shouldn't be, no one should have to be closeted pro Danny is we attractive. Should, we really should do like a, like a full on like apology video, but it's <laughs> us being like, I'm taking his side in this. Yeah, like, 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 it's like the first 30 seconds are like, I know what you guys perceive yeah. as disgusting, um, but I'm on Danny's yeah, side. You're here. really going against beauty standards exactly. by calling me attractive. Yeah. Or we do a whole like touch and grass video yeah. where we like laser arm treatment your arms. Yeah, I'd do that. We just, we just, we just get rid of it. You're That'd like, be you did this to us. Yeah. We just burn off all the hair. <laughs> So, so, should we talk about anime? Should we do your quiz? We should. So, you may notice I have my laptop out. He does. Uh, listeners, you may have heard my laptop. Yeah, you might have, you might have heard the fans <laughs> yeah. of the alien laptop. Um, so, I was looking for, we need more games on this podcast. Mm. Every podcast we that gets need recommended. We need TikTok moments. We need TikTok moments, yeah. How you if, get success. If we want to get, like, cynical about it, that is what I mean. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but also, they're fun. I, like, have found so many great podcasts on TikTok mm. of people just being, like, top three hot takes go and like i'm like that's hype i want to know their shit so i looked up anime podcast how to be successful <laughs> okay no yeah. I, yeah i looked up how to how to make money fast yeah um i looked up anime podcasts okay not a lot of good ones at first buzzfeed will tell you they have anime quizzes not anime podcasts i was gonna anime say quizzes. i was like i was like okay yeah <laughs> i'm not trying to burn some bridges like, right well, now I mean, we're already one of yeah. the larger anime podcasts so um 
uh, not a lot of anime quizzes, and BuzzFeed has none. They mm-hmm. tell you they have a ton. None of these are quizzes. What do you mean? They have. Are they like 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 answer these twelve like deeply emotional questions to figure out what member of the Phantom Troop you'll be? I wish there's some like that, and I'm gonna give you one. Okay. Um, but some are like this one's. I'm genuinely curious if anyone out there has seen all fifty of my favorite anime. Here's another one, real quick. I what? genuinely like to know which anime villains you'd cancel if you could. Here's another. These don't sound like quizzes. Here's another. I'm genuinely curious if you think these 34 extremely divisive TV shows are actually good. What? Okay, first off, who called this person disingenuine for them to like be like, I need you to know I am genuinely curious. Who called, like, called out their credibility? And they're yeah. like, no, genuinely, I'm genuinely they're, wondering. They're like, I feel like your interest in my anime hot takes is a little non-genuine. Yeah, also, I know no one called out their credibility. Mm. I don't believe them. Yeah. If, if someone has to call them out, it's me. You're yeah. not, you're, you don't genuinely care. You're selling the bag too hard here. And we also know <laughs> that like they're making like 12 of these quizzes a day. <laughs> they just they just make it sound like they're laying in bed and they're like, I'm curious. No, no, I'm no. genuinely no. curious. They who, sit up in bed. Who can name all 50 of my favorite anime? Who's seen these? Yeah, shut up. You dumb bitch. Have you seen 49 on the list? Oh my God. It's Nana. So I love that. Another one, I took a note of it. Another one is like, where is it? It's, is Jujutsu Kaisen your favorite show? Take this quiz and find out. Who who the fuck are you to tell me if it's what is my the, favorite and, and, and show? And questions will be like, which kind of pasta would you eat? Yeah, and it's like Wait, what? Yeah, which kind of pasta? <laughs> and it's you're, like, I guess I guess Yuji is my favorite character. How did this happen? You're way ahead of me because that is a hundred percent what we're about to do. That's always what happens with Buzzfeed. Dearest. I like it's either what type of pasta would you eat or what type of pasta are you like currently? Psych, you're yeah. Ichigo. Yeah, like, you're like, how did we get here? Yeah, you could convince me that Buzzfeed is run entirely by the world's dumbest AI, and I would believe you. Yeah. So I have two. Um, <laughs> I have two that quizzes. I found two quizzes. Mm. One is from Quiz Expo, uh, entitled Amazing Anime Quiz for Real Anime Fans. Okay, so Only you're going to ask me questions. Yes. Okay. Only 33% of people can pass. Oh, so you say there was 33 questions. No. And I was like, like, well, there goes everything I wanted to talk about today. <laughs> Only 33 people can pass, it says. So Only 33 total. Total. It's like, it's like the Mormons going to heaven. 33% like there's, there's like... of people can pass this. Only. Okay, okay. Would you like to start? Sure, why not? Okay, question one. Where'd it go? Here we go. Start quiz. Keep in mind, only 33% of people can pass this. I'd like to think I'm in the 33rd percentile of anime knowledge. Here's question one. Okay. Okay. It says, let's begin with an easy question and play along at home if you'd like. Yeah, listen, pause or something. I don't know. Probably will take me a little while to answer. Yeah. Can you beat me? There's the real question. Yeah. Here we go. Let's begin with an easy question. Who is the Pokemon anime's main character? It's multiple choice. Here we go. Don't look at me like that. Okay. Ash Ketchum. Wait. Don't answer. Okay, I'm sorry. Misty, Pikachu, Light Yagami. See, here's my thing. <laughs> yeah. Would Light Yagami need to know the name of your Pokemon or could he just write Pikachu? That's why, because of course this is too easy. Yeah. But I was like, let's talk about Light Yagami yeah, starring in Pokemon for a second. <laughs> Imagine, you're like, go, max level Charizard. Yeah. And you're like, he's like, yeah, bitch. Like, what you fucking fool. Just eat a potato chip yeah. right in the, on, the, on the other side. Charizard there. drops dead. Yeah, it's like, like not faint, like full, yeah. fuck, like full heart attack. Yeah, it's yeah. just like, what did you do? And it's like, you're about to receive a call. And he's like, Mom, it's like, honey, I just started feeling. Uh, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. What take are you the doing? Money. Yeah. Take the money. Yeah. Take the badge. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so is your answer light Yagami? Yes, my answer is light Yagami. Okay. Yeah. Um, here we go. Next. I would argue that Pikachu's the main character, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm controversial. Wrong. Ash Ketchum, apparently. I, oh, yeah, no, really. Debatable. But did Ash Ketchum literally fight Deoxys? No. Like, it's Pikachu. <laughs> yeah, Let's it's be Pikachu. real. Pikachu. A hundred percent Pikachu. Yeah. Carries the show. I and mean, people aren't buying Ash Ketchum plushies. Yeah. <laughs> that's like, true. It, it's, it's fucking, who's ever selling the most merch, that's the main yeah, character. Yeah, 100% true. Uh, number two, a girl searches for magical objects to fulfill her wish. Which is this anime? One Piece, Dragon Ball, Fairy Tale, Naruto. A girl searches for magical objects. A girl. One Piece? That's your answer? No, One Piece, One Fairy Piece, Tale. Fairy Tale, Dragon Ball, Naruto. Well, fairy tale is the only thing that would fill that. It would be Lucy. It would be Lucy Harfilia. Let's see. 
Or wrong. I guess it could be Balma it's, with the. It could be it's Balma with the Dragon, Dragon Ball, and they used Kefla as a as the image. <laughs> What? Moving on. <laughs> Dragon Ball hasn't been about finding the Dragon Balls for like two and a half decades. You, if someone's like, I want to get into Dragon Ball, what's it about? You're not saying, oh, it's about a girl looking for, for magical Dragon Balls. items. What? No. <laughs> they, no. They literally, in the most recent movie, they were just like, oh, we need to make a wish. Oh, wow. good. Bye, Balma. Do you have the Dragon Balls? And she was like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll scrounge them up. How's it feel to know that you're an anime, a professional anime creator? I'm not in the 33%. You're not in the 33%. I'm not in the 33%. Percent. God damn it. Here we go. Here's an easier one. What kind of wizard? Actually, I don't know if this is an easier one. Okay. What kind of wizard is Lucy in the fairy tale anime? Okay. Ice wizard, sky wizard, no, celestial no. wizard, fire wizard. Celestial wizard, I believe. Let's see. Nick's not fucking around now. Correct. Yeah, yeah that's what there I thought. No jokes. In yeah, that because one. Natsu's fire, gray is ice, and air wizard, sky wizard. I don't even is Urza sky wizard. I don't think she. Is. She's a sword wizard. She's a transformation wizard. I do not. I haven't watched heart like. I haven't watched it like ten years. I have no idea. Urza's. A crop top wizard, as far as I'm concerned. Well, yeah, like one of her yeah. things is like bandages and swords. Yeah. And then she's got like big ass like armor sets and everything. She's actually sick. Yeah. Hers is my favorite character in that show. Nice. Yeah. Who? <laughs> who is he? I'm going to go with, I would show the camera. Who is he? Is who the real is question. Uh, that is Kakarot D. Luffy. Nice. Let's yep. see. Let's see. Um, oh, what are my answers? Vegeta, Goku, Ash, Ash Pikachu. and Pikachu. They were like, I know two anime. Yeah. Dragon Ball and yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dragon Ball Pokemon. I'm gonna go with Goku, sir. Goku. I could see somebody, I could see a dad thinking that's Ash. Same color of hair. Yeah, base base form. Okay, I was I thought the next question was about Goku again. I was like, is this only Dragon Ball? What are we doing here? The next one's equally easiest. Easy. Okay. Um which of the following characters does the gum gum pistol attack belong to? Black Butler Chobits. Do you know what Chobits is? Black Butler. Black Butler. That's not. Is that a, a character? That's a show. Is that not a man? It's a, it's it's is, a, it's a show about a man, but his name isn't is Black it, Butler. Is, it's a, he, he has a completely separate name. Is it not? He's not the titular Black. What's yeah, his the name? Titular, I, it's it's like uh, some devil name. I think it's like Lucifer. Some devil he is name. literally a devil. Okay. Uh, but I don't remember his name. Black Butler is an interesting watch because like it was supposed to be a yaoi between like a full grown man and a child. Um, Jesus. And you can tell at moments that it absolutely was supposed to be that. His name is literally Sheb Sebastian. <laughs> Sebastian. Sebastian. Yeah. Like, why, what? <laughs> Who does the, the gum gum fruit belong to? The entirety of Black, yeah, Black Butler? Black Butler. Yeah, it's who's, CL and Sebastian. Who's Chobitz? I don't know. What is Chobitz? Shop Chobitz? <laughs> Let me see. Let me see Cho how it's spelled. C-H-O-B-I-T-S. Never even once have I heard that word. Chobitz is a show. Why are they saying... <laughs> that looks like just '90s nonsense. Yeah. Uh, it, looks, like it looks like it looks like. Uh, what's the show Hamtaru is in? Do you know Hamtaru? Are you talking about the little? Is that the little the hamster? The little hamster. Yeah, yeah it kind of does. Look it looks like that. like that. Yeah. Um, it's one of those shows that's just like insanely popular in Japan and just not outside of yeah. Japan. Yeah. No, for sure. It's Hamtaru like there's a whole mobile huge. game. There's a whole like mobile game market in Japan. Like, it's like what's the girl in the back of your phone case? It's like that. Kromi. Yeah, Kromi. It's like one of those where you see her everywhere, Sanrio. but like, mm -hmm. um, okay. Black Butler, Chobits, Titan. Don't e don't even ask. We're moving past it. Or Monkey D. Luffy. Answer. We've been on this question too Luffy, long. Luffy. God, what <laughs> Titan? The They're like, oh, how do we make the this one easy? they attack on? You yeah. know? How do we make this easy? Oh, I don't know. Have three of the answers not be fucking characters? <laughs> like what? Here we go. Here's like, I might not get this one. Okay. Um, Naruto has different types of modes. Do you know what is the name of this mode? Okay. Broken it, English. Is but it is it a picture? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Let me. See. Okay. Yeah. It's a stage of six pass mode. Okay. It's actually not. That's a fan art. That is, is that is fan art. Yep. It's cool. Looking. That's a fan art of his stage of six pass mode. Like if he was to become Hagoromo, but that's his stage of six. Okay. Pass we'll mode. do stage of six. Correct. Yeah. Nice. Well, I think this was like a project made by somebody practicing English. <laughs> this one says he is Light Yagami. He is the main character of blank anime. <laughs> I'm gonna go with. I think we established it was Dra Pokemon, right? You don't want to say Dragon Balls. Dragon Balls. <laughs> Dragon, Dragon balls? these balls it's on your Death Note, apparently. One piece. Yep. Fuck. Nick spitting bars. I, yeah, this is what I do best, baby. We are in my bag. The options are One Piece, Fairy Tale, Death Note, Dragons Balls. Dragons Balls. I'm going with Death Note, sir. Okay. Let's see. I can't believe I got the fucking Dragon Ball one wrong. 
<laughs> what, I just so wild to me. It's so funny. Yeah. Uh, this picture is from which of these famous anime? It's you, fucking. Oh yeah, you know it's, that's uh oh, it's Spirited Away. I also couldn't think of the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spirited Away. Spirited Away. There's like a witch in both Howl's Moving Castle and Spirited yeah. Away, so I get them mixed up sometimes. For listeners only, um, it's just a big old fucking witch, yeah. and uh, it's the witch with a huge wart on her face and like all of the hair, and then the main character is Spirited Away, whose name I completely forget. I know. I uh, I know her name. Yep. I know the dragon boy is Haku. Haku. Yep. And then... That's a sick name. Not San. That's Mononoke. Ch- it's a Chihiro. It's Chihiro. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Something like that, yeah. Um, which of these characters is the Oron High School host club anime's main character? Now, I'm not okay. going to... Sh- now, it's... This pic- is a question for you, not me. It's it, Well, it's pictures. It's four pictures. I'm not going to show you them. I'm going to describe them. I'll say the names. How about that? It's been like two decades since I've seen Oren Host. Like, I, I I haven't seen it since it came out. Do you want me to say the names or do you want me to describe you them? Can, I, yeah, you can describe them. Okay. One. I'm going to say the names. Okay. I'll say the names. Thank you. Uh, which of them is the main character of Oron High School? Yes. Light Yagami. Okay. Naruto they are, Uzumaki. They, this, hold the, the on, hold on. The person who made this knows five anime. Is it, it's just photos, so they don't even give me the names. Gotcha. So is it Light Yagami, Naruto Uzumaki, mm-hmm. uh, Monkey D. Luffy, okay. or Middle School Girl? Probably the Middle School Girl. <laughs> is it yeah, yeah sure? I don't think I don't think it's any of the big three. <laughs> this, <laughs> these are the pictures. It's actually a boy. Um, oh, but, is it? Yeah, it's a, it's a boy. He's in pink. Oh, baby. How am I supposed to know who the so boy and girl is? you haven't seen Oren Host High School Club? No. Oren High School Host Club. That's yeah. what it is. You haven't seen it? No. With your fandom? He's in pink with pink little hair clips. Yeah. Traps, <laughs> baby. They've been around forever. Wow. <laughs> I cannot believe your fandom has never got you to watch that. Danny, that is the most up your alley you would. Listen, I got Your Lion April's on the docket. Full Metal's next. It's a movie. Is it? I would sneak. I would sneak Oren House Oren High School in? like in. I, I keep messing it up, but I would sneak that in before Full Metal. Wow. Because your fa- But I'd rather it. watch your. Me- oh, uh, it's y- not. Good. I'd rather watch your metal host Iron. Your your yeah. metal. Your uh, metal Alchemist High School. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's not good. It's not. A, it's not a good show. But Full Metal. No, Full Metal is oh. a masterpiece. Oh, gotcha. Oren House Oren? High School Club yeah. is. No, it, it's fun. It is right, fun. Right. Incredibly gay. And that's gotcha. why your fandom will adore it if you watch it. Maybe I'll check it out. I got that. I got, I want to do, I really want to do Kaguya-sama. Like the hype has gotten to me. <sighs> Everyone keeps saying Kaguya-sama is like a fucking masterpiece of romance. Just four seasons of overthinking. It's not, it's not, it's not a master class <laughs> no. of romance. It's fun. It's a fun show. It usurped fucking full metal on my anime. It did, it did, it did. Which is. That's just, when I was like, what is this? It's insane that that happened. Yeah. And to this day, I'm still blown away. It's just if overthinking was an anime. I guess, and it's fun I guess so. and like incredibly good OPs. Like mm-hmm. um, the Chika Chika dance came from uh, from Kaguya Sama. I don't know. Can you, you know do it? The, you do know what the quick? Chika dance is? No, what's that? Do you know about the guy? You know about the oh, kid boy. who's doing the Chika dance? Nick's standing up. He's oh my god, the, Nick's taking off his clothes right I'm now. Not, I literally no. There's a kid on TikTok who does the Chika dance every single day until he gets a girlfriend. Oh yeah. And he recently just hit a thousand days, and everyone was really excited for him. <laughs> And so we're all like, see you at 2000, man. Yeah. Like, we'll, we'll, we'll be right there with you. Do it. So he's what been is doing, it? I don't know how to do the cheeky dance. Give me a taste. What's wild is this kid's been doing it for like almost 1100 days. Still not very good at it. That's so tough. like, so like, I, I have no standards to go by. Yeah. Here. Have you seen, uh, speaking of the dances, speaking of dances, the okay. activity, do you know RRR? RRR, the, the Indian, Indian movie. movie. Yeah. yeah. Did no, you... I haven't seen it. Way too long. I haven't seen it either. Way too long. Agreed. Uh, at the Oscars, they like were announcing it because it won best music. Yeah. And they like, they were like, um, now presenting the dance that's been sweeping the nation that people have been breaking out in the middle of theaters doing on TikTok. And I'm like, oh shit, what is this dance? It's crazy. They proceeded to show me the most fucking complex series of dance moves. Yeah, it's like a, it's like, it's like a choreographed thirty-person dance for two and a half. It's like minutes. a fucking backflip into a split, and yeah. then the dance happens. And they're like, like everyone's yeah. doing. If you can't yeah. do this, you're a fucking loser. The dance move sweeping the nation, yeah. and then like six bones <laughs> like <laughs> pop out of yeah. off like a thirty-foot ledge. Um. Okay. Five more questions. Oh God, we're still doing this. Do you know what kind of person Naruto is? A ninja. Wait, don't answer. A knight. A samurai. A tree surgeon. 
Take your time. A what? A tree surgeon? I said knight, I believe. Oh yes, a tree surgeon. A tree surgeon. <laughs> yeah. Is that oh, is that what we call lumberjacks nowadays? <laughs> tree but, surgeon. Like what? The f- no, the tree surgeons are the ones that come in after lumberjacks and put the tree back yeah, together. Yeah, they're like, <laughs> like <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna fix you. You're yeah. you're gonna be okay. There's yeah, whispering to it. He can't hurt you any longer. I'm gonna go with ninja, sir. I'll, yeah. I like to kind of lock that one in. Yeah, that's a lock. Um, I, <laughs> I think there's a huge demographic. You're telling me a third of people couldn't couldn't <laughs> beat this quiz. <laughs> <laughs> like like one in two out of three people are just like I don't know if that is that Goku or Light Yakubate. Okay, we're gonna do this one faster. Here's a picture. It's a green-haired man with three swords. Zoro. What's his name? Yeah, that's incredibly easy. <laughs> yep, they've um, seen four anime. They've seen four and or in high school. Yep. Do you know this couple is from which of these anime? I love, once again, just they're practicing English. It started off good, though. I, like, couldn't suss out that it wasn't English. Yeah, and then it just... Do you know this couple is from which of these anime? And and let me see this couple. Um, I'm assuming it's Bulma. I'm already... No, wow! This one's hard. Kirito and Asuna. Yeah. Do you know? No, I didn't. You didn't know that? Well, but the que- That's the Jessica Online on the right. Yeah, that's Jessica Online yeah. and uh, Christopher Sword. Yes, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Christopher would have been a good name for Kirito. I mean, it's close enough as is. Why would that be a good name? I don't know. It just kind of like gives Chris energy. Sorry, I didn't mean to not yes and you on our yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, literally not even knowing the rules of improv. This cat is one of the cute characters of blank anime. It's a big school bus that's also a cat. It's the cat bus from My Neighbor Totoro. <laughs> Are you sure it's not from Ble- Are you sure it's not from Kirito and Asuna? It's from the show <laughs> Kirito and Asuna. Kirito. They're, they're, they're well-known, self-titled show, <laughs> Kirito and Asuna. Why is this falling apart? It's like this guy. I had 30 minutes to yeah. put this together. <laughs> Just, I don't know. We need a 14th Holy question. Stretch. He's got a gun to his head. Like, I need a quiz. Only a third of people can answer. L in Death Note anime is a girl. Just yes or no? <laughs> Just give me an answer. Is it just yes or no? <laughs> just answer. No. Nope. It's not. There's no question mark. It's a there's, period. It's just, just, L in Death Note is a is, girl. Is a girl. How do you I'm feel about you, that? <laughs> I, I mean, I never saw his cock, so I don't fucking know. True or false? I'm going to go with false, false sir. Okay. It's so good. <laughs> That's so good. Okay. Is that the last one? Do you know the name of this character? I almost don't. <laughs> Sophie from Howl's Moving yeah. Castle. Okay, I was almost did. It's my favorite movie like, of all time, so good. very easy. All right, we're done. Now you can take over the podcast. I'm in the first. Wow, guys. Thank. Wow. Round of applause for Danny. That's the work he did for the week. That was uh, that was him getting ready. I'm so happy I did this. That was fantastic. If you guys want us to do a, a quiz or a ranking thing. Send every, us quizzes, I guess. I guess, yeah, send us quiz or, yeah, like, obviously, like, we're always open to questions. I mean, that's a big part of our love letters thing. But if you yeah. guys want to see us, like, do favorite old ladies in anime uh, based on who we'd like to break the spine of. Uh, then old we'll, we'll ladies? Do that. Yeah, that we'd like to break the spine of. Okay. You know, just like, you ever just like a knee bone? Crack them, yeah. yeah. to an old lady. Yeah, yeah. Like, a, like a nice fucking Louisiana crawdad. Exactly, yeah, Crack them in half and just, just take suck that it tail out. Off. Exactly, I think, I hey, think my top old lady that I would like to suplex in anime probably goes... Yeah, save for the quiz, my guy. I guess, I was gonna say the mage in Howl's Moving Castle uh, and then the Witch of the Waste also from Howl's Moving Castle... Uh, I feel like you could, is it age or do they have to look old? Because like fucking Dockies, like a thousand. Docky? From uh, Demon Slayer with the Oh, Docky. She's 113. She's 100. That shouldn't know the exact. I'm sorry. It was the, <laughs> you want to know why I know the exact? Because there the... was discourse over Docky. I know. Because I'm... everyone was like, it was like, oh, everyone was like, damn, Docky's hot. And they're like, you can't say that. And everyone was like, she's 113 years old. And everyone was like, but she changed at 13. And I was like, ah, yes. It's also not like. Unless a character, like when you're goofing about anime, yeah. Unless a character one like looks like a child, like yeah. animators know the difference between drawing a child and, and drawing, drawing an docky. adult woman. Exactly. Yeah, like they know what they're doing. If that either a, it's that where it's like toff, like don't fucking be yeah like, sussing damn. over toff. Like, yeah. No, like clearly or a child. Or b, if they if Doki walks out and it's like, hi, I'm Doki, I'm thirteen. Yeah. Okay, done. done Eyes sipping. into the camera yeah, like, like, you better fucking not. Who, who fucking, you coming at me and be like, Doc, he's 13. Why'd you look it up? Yeah. Like, you, don't come at me, you fucker. Like, you had the same idea I did. I don't watch anime with Google up yeah. being like, it was, the same thing happened with uh, with One Piece where there was like this, there's this like mermaid princess in the Fishman Island and I was like, pink hair, like a, a, a mermaid princess. She is yeah. 
45 feet tall. Um, well, like, just wears a bikini. I was like, fucking, yeah. yep. And everyone yeah. was like, she's 16. And I was like, how would I know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like the same with like, I mean, I, no one ever gets mad when people thirst over Zuko. And it's because we've all kind of like, acknowledged that we've aged him up to mm-hmm. like an 18 and we all crushed on him when we were children. Exactly. Like, you know, it's funny. Cause you do get greenlit into that. Cause yeah. like, I think Avatar actually did a very good job of like being like, these kids are this age and they're going to fucking look this age. Yeah. Like, I think that's the weirdest thing to no, me sure. in anime is like, like Katara looks 13 ish yeah. and looks 12. Like, yeah. and they should, like you look at like, I look at my, like, a comic got killed. You know an a comic got killed. Wait, wait, wait. You have to, for people or not audio a comic only. Got I'm sorry. For au- future diaries. For audio only listeners, they need to know it's only fair you tell them that you were about to mention your tattoos. I was about to mention you my were, tattoos. Nick was looking at his tattoos to find the name of the anime. Yes. So if you have your bingo card. Fucking that's, I think yeah. that might be the first one. I think we'll, or like Nick commits like career suicide should be like one of the free spaces our, as well. Our cold open was you not being an everyman, I'll say. I could have been worse. There is definitely things I, like, let's be real. There's other things I could have dipped my toes into. You talking about how you make four times the amount of this cash app, dude? It's five times. Yeah. Anyway. Listen, listen, you pull up your cash app and you're like, this is how much money I made this week, uh, 30 seconds into our conversation. Yeah, I feel get, get though, ready for I, me to unzip my pants I if you're going to show me ex- your dick. Exactly. If yeah. we're doing the measuring contest, I'll yeah. pull them out. Yeah. But, like, only because you're standing in with it like it's in your hand. Yeah, yeah. You know, but no. So it's always, it's always very interesting to me. I just think like as anime, like either, like, I just know. I, and people have talked about this. Like they don't need to be in high school. Yeah. Like, it's just like, that's the thing. But like people need to realize, and this is, it's a very American ideology being like, why are they always in high school? It's like, because Shonen's not made for you. Like, well, like that's thing. Like people don't realize how big the market for Shonen in Japan in a specific, like, like six to 13 or six to 18 range is right. Like that's where they're making the majority of their bread. Well, to be fair, like there's so many reasons to put shown in high schools. Yeah. Like one, it's like you said, demographic wise, you hit truly everybody. You get like actual teens. Yeah. And then most of these are violent as fuck. So you get adults too. Being like this and, is sick. And that's also why most of them have giant boobs. Cause they're like, here's a little, we won't oh. make it look like a teenager. Like this and something that. for you. Yeah. But also in terms of like narrative, like devices, a high school is such a great setting where it's like, okay, you have challenges baked in like superhero high school. Mm-hmm. Every semester, we have, like, an excuse to do a tournament. Of course. Like, a free tournament once a semester. We get, we, we get our one yeah. tournament. You it's get, like your one phone call. Yeah, meanwhile, if it's, like, something like Bleach or whatever. Well, Bleach is, like, a society. But something like Chainsaw Man. It's, mm. like, if they want to do a tournament, they got to contrive a reason. There's, like, rules and games and shit. Ironically, JJK just went through this. Well, like, JJK, JJK is just, a high school. But, no, but the thing is, the tournament is now outside of the high school. And right. they have to set up an insane amount of, like, information mm-hmm. to, like, be, like, this is how the tournament is working. Exactly. It wasn't just like in the beginning of JJK when it was like um, the Their Kyoto school. school. Yeah. It was the Kyoto school versus the Tokyo school. Yeah. And you're like, this is sick. I love watching other schools battle against well, each that, other. Well, that's the other thing too, is that it's like, you also get the benefit of like, okay, you're introduced to this high school. It's like 15 to 30 interesting, unique characters. Yeah. And on top of that, now you're like, once you get comfortable with all those characters and they're like, we're going to meet another school. It's like, oh, fuck. Like, yeah. that's hype. You're like, they must be also really cool. And yeah. then, then they are. And like, it's like, we're also getting Shiketsu coming back right now in the MHA manga. And it's like, it's like Shiketsu in the East, um, M- or UA in the West. And like seeing that collaborative thing yeah. is really cool. And also I think like high school as a, as a, like a way of telling a story is something a lot of people can relate to because most people have been to high school. Right. Like, yeah, like the exactly. overwhelming majority yeah. of people like have been to high school. Yeah. Like if it was in college or if it's in like a workplace, a lot of people can't relate to that because a lot of people haven't been through that. Yeah. So like you can relate to a, like a high school setting and it brings you back to like those days. Yeah. Not saying I look back at like high school being like, damn, I miss being bullied. But like, <laughs> like it is like, I can relate to the things that like went on in high school. Right. Do you think. Yeah. Quick. Sometimes. Quick interview. <laughs> That must be nice. Yeah, right. Um, quick interview tangent. Mm-hmm. Do you think there's a shift being made right now from like, right, when we had Naruto, Naruto's like 12, yeah. One Piece, Luffy's like 13 or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hunter, mm-hmm. Hunter, gone's a child. Uh, Luffy is 17 in part one, I think. No, he is not. Yes. No, he isn't. I believe Luffy is 17 in part one and 19 in part two. No, how I'm old is Luffy? 99% sure. Season one. 
let's see, seven when we first meet well, him. That I mean, doesn't count. A, Hold on, chill. Child. Chill. And he's stabbing his eye. All right, in Alabasta. Nine, 19 after time skip. What time skip? Two year time skip around episode 400. No way he's 19. I, That's hype. I dig that. I didn't. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, I mean, he's a pirate. That's cool. Also, no, I dig that. Okay, but I was going to say, though, do you think there's a shift being made right now from, like, child shonen protagonists to, like, upper teen to, like, 12, like, UG, like, 19 or something? I think, like, Denji is also, oh, wait, Denji's, like, 17. Denji is under 20. Uh, Den yeah, Denji's underage because of Himeno and yeah. that. But, but the thing is, though, like, right, that's part of his, like, arc, kind of, is, mm -hmm. like, the sexual assault situation, like his love We've life. We've all been there, you know? But like, <laughs> but every, I, every character arc, yeah. But like everyone else in Chainsaw Man is in their 20s. Like, and they're in, they've been in like like the public sector for a long time. Right, exactly. Yeah. They're He's supposed all, to come in innocent. Yeah, they're all in their 20s. Uh, what was the one I said? Denji, like, or Yuji. Uh, yeah, like Yuji, Jujutsu Kaisen. They're around all, 18, yeah. Yeah, they're all like older than like the usual like 12 to 15 that we used to get yeah i think i think honestly it has shifted a little bit but not like far i, I think the best example honestly isn't like what we're talking about right now it's like things like kaiju number eight uh right. where, where like, it's a full-ass adult like he's a 30 like year old yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and which is exciting to see like that's cool exactly yeah. and i think it's more because a the population of anime enjoyers is aging yeah uh and i think like and broadening like, exactly yeah so like a better catch-all and b to, to make a better like a more reaching audience i feel like that's a big thing as well it's because like a lot like like a more american audience definitely leans closer to the idea of like an older MC. right and so I think that's why we're seeing that shift, but I don't think it's so significant. Like, obviously we're not seeing the 12 year olds anymore. Like yeah. Asta's 15, um, Deku's like 16, 17. Like it's, it's not yeah. 12 anymore. It's like 16, 17. Yeah. Will that continue? I don't think so. Really? I think, I think, you think the, it'll go back? I think, no, I think the cap will be like 18, 19. Wow. I think like it's always going to be like second or third years in high school. Right. Because like, I, I just don't think you can ever separate like anime as a whole from like the high school thing yeah like i think it's always going to be a part of it like maybe there'll be a shift to college and university but like it's once again it's just less yeah. relatable no i agree i think like high school like you said everyone mostly has been and it's just like college is every college is so different yeah and like most of the time you're like not doing classes mm -hmm. um but yeah that's interesting Should yeah we... and so and, and that's not the only example like there is like uh, definitely there is a shift yeah uh i think sakamoto days is a really popular it's a really popular manga right now it's got an older mc so i, I definitely think there is like an actual shift which is yeah. cool to see but at the same time like i just think people the american anime and manga enjoyer need to realize not the only market not even the biggest right. market yeah you know like by a long shot. i think the individual needs to realize yeah, yeah like not, not made for everything you. is like yeah, yeah. like and I feel that like, yeah, there's like, there's like manga or like anime, like Jujutsu Kaisen is kind of like that where like I, until you make me double down and get mad about Jujutsu Kaisen, yeah. like I am willing to be like, Completely you, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Haven't said a thing. I know. Haven't said it. You're, um, just, you're, you're your own worst enemy. fired up. I love it. Um, I, but there's like anime where I like is wicked popular and I'm like, that's just not for me and not everything needs to be, you know, mm. like I'm not going to be like, this needs to stop getting funding. Yeah. You're like, yeah. Get, I mean, that's like, like kind of how I do have like that crusade. Um, <laughs> like I'm like that way for, uh, what is it? Uh, reincarnated. Uh, no, no, no. He uh, needed to jobless, not have funding. Jo yeah, I want jobless reincarnation defunded. Wow. I, I want it gone. Wow. I want it gone because it's like the East. Everyone's like, this is the greatest East of God of all time. Character development is incredible. The main character marries his underage second cousin in the end. Oh, that's fair. You, you have like a legal battle. Like literally he SAs his underage yeah, second black. cousin. Everyone's like, oh, if you ignore, if you ignore the incest in the, in, in yeah. the SA, it's completely fine. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> my capacity for ignoring things is apparently much lower than yours yeah and it's just annoying because everyone's like who's the greatest isekai of all time and i was like i don't give a shit how good the fight animation is or any of that like you can't like there's certain aspects like, i watched i watched all the scene i was like nope out done. yeah just, yeah i'm done i just like i i, I can't That's do fair. it anymore there's so much anime you don't need to like Enjoy. you know yeah i goblin hunter or whatever fucking oh, yeah. redo as a healer just all yeah. of these things the second you start being like oh how do we do character development you're like oh sexually assault women i'm like <laughs> 
fuck off, I'm out. Like, yeah. I just, like, like, there's so many better ways to be like, hey, the bad guys are the bad guys. Yeah. Other than, like, dipping into, like, the good old trauma pen. Yeah, Like, yeah. we just don't need it. Like, there's so many, like, like, very enticing and very convincing bad guys. And, like, that was one of, like, the things that I disliked about the second season of SAO is that, like, Kaiba or whatever his name was, not Kaiba, whatever, the, the guy who made the video game. Oh, yeah. He was, like, evil because yeah. he made SAO. And he was, like, detached from reality. He was, like, I wanted a castle in the sky. You guys are just gonna be my pawns. Like you wanted like a god complex. Right. And then right. actually it wasn't even him. It wasn't it wasn't him who did it. But like the bad guy in the second season just like basically sexually assaults Austin. And I was like, all right, like, like I wanted to see him get beat up anyways. Yeah. Like he was a shit bag to begin with. We yeah. didn't need to heap this on there. No, for sure. So I have a question for you. Yeah. Uh actually, no, I have a story. Okay. Um since we're, since we're talking about doubling down uh and women, this is actually a really good time to do this. I am not embroiled in a beef in TikTok right now. Um, but I am embroiled in one of the more interesting people throwing stones at the house in a while. Okay. So, so I, I got a DM yeah. a couple days ago, uh, by Libby, Ro uh, Libby rule art is her tag. She's incredible. Uh -huh. Okay. She's this, good. She's this girl, this fantastic art. Uh, she used to do, so the posters behind you, the Ambu poster and the soccer one. Right. So how I found her is one day she like had a TikTok where she was showing those off, like the world war two, like style posters, propaganda posters in the world of Naruto. I was like, those are sick. Send me them immediately. Yeah. Uh, after that, I fell in love with her artwork and I was like, can you draw my PFPs and all that? And we've been like friend, like internet oh, friends nice. for a while. Did she do our, uh, is this no. the girl who did the Otaku? No, that's Kat. Got you. That's, got that's you, Kat. Got she you. did, uh, Kat's done all my other stuff. Uh, got also you. fantastic. But, uh, so Libby DMs me and she's like, there's a guy by the name of, I have to look this up. Oh boy. Uh, by the name of, I think it's, I think it's blue. We're doxing him right here. Uh, yeah, it's blue something. Um, <laughs> oh, I didn't write it down, man. Uh, oh his name was, oh, Blue, yeah, Blue Forces. This, this is my best boy, by the way. Okay. This is my transition to best boy. Okay. Um, Blue Forces. Your best boy is doxing a man? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And he's like, uh, how dare you, like, you, like, I made a video like six months ago being like, oh, I think MHA, as like one of the, the leading anime currently, I would like to see better character development out of the female characters. Oh, I see. I think like going, what we've gotten in terms of character arcs has been Ida. Yeah. Bakugo, Shoto, and Deku. Is and this, real quick, is this blue boy a creator? Yeah. Or just a guy? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Look, uh, look, a substantial following. 300,000 followers. Uh, I'm weirdly more comfortable, like, a, like, calling out a creator than just a random just a comment. random, yeah. yeah, just a random dude yeah. just being like, I don't uh, like you, but. I was like, <laughs> we don't have to summon people on some random yes. dude, just block them, but yes, yeah. Yes, getting doxxed. I got gotcha. you. But no, so. And usually, I mean, I get yelled at all the time. Mm -hmm. It's like my job to get mm -hmm. yelled at. Um, and so he's he's making this video, and I'm like, like crying in MHA. He's like, "How dare you cry at MHA? You said you didn't like the show, like all these things." Like, and then like he was like, "Oh, how, like you can't change, like don't change up now." And I was like, "I've always enjoyed MHA. Yeah, never said I didn't you enjoy love MHA. MHA. I yeah. love MHA. I make a lot of videos about yeah. MHA." Um, and he started taking the comments from the people who on that video were like, I also would love to see like better character development out of the female characters in MHA, like Libby art, yeah. like Libby rule art. And like being like, like comment, like added them all in the video description being like, this individual person said this. What do you think now? Going through all of my comments, everybody who said a negative thing about oh. MHA just being like, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck, going down the list, like incredible people who just like left a comment on a video yeah. six months ago. And it's just, Three or four videos in a row just being like, don't talk about MHA. It's too late for you. And just, like, so I love it. It's so much fun. Like, to what end? What is the goal? It's not like MHA is this underdog anime. Yeah. That's, it's six seasons in. Like, I almost, if it was like, I get sometimes the defensiveness. Of course. In terms of like, right? I mean, I don't because I shit on Naruto more than anybody, but, <laughs> but yeah. But that, that's different, right? So I get the defensiveness in certain situations where it's like Chainsaw Man, right? I brought up a few episodes ago where there was like this very small petition that won't go anywhere that was like- Oh, for, the, to yeah, get for somebody it else to reanimated. Um, yeah. And Never. I get in that scenario, I was like almost offensive mm -hmm. because I'm like, okay- only one season is out. Yep. I don't know how successful that season was. Very. Very, thankfully. Like, the most successful anime in, like, the last six years. Yeah, like, but at the time, like, one season's out, and I loved it. Like, one of my favorite anime in recent memory. Mm -hmm. And you have, like, this small, growing, like, following being like, we don't like it, and we want that to stop. Yeah. So, again, that scenario, there's, like, defensiveness where it's like, fuck, I like this thing. I don't want this other crowd getting them to stop making that thing I love. Of course, yeah. 
we're six seasons into one of the biggest shonen. Episodes. Like, who cares? Let people fucking criticize whatever. Yeah. And then also, if you can't handle people criticizing something you love, you don't love it as much as you think you do. Exactly. If you're insecure that they'll convince sway. you. Yeah. 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 Like, if you're afraid they'll sway you on, like, not liking it. Then you don't like it that much. Exactly. Like, like, yeah. like you talk shit about Naruto all you want. It'll still be my second favorite anime of all time. Mm-hmm. You haven't seen Hunter Hunter. You you think you need to watch the first 40 episodes to, to get into it. I could give a shit. It's my favorite anime of all time. I know it's a masterpiece. Like I just don't like and just like I like shoot your shots at me. But like if you're gonna go at like my mutuals or just that's in whack. my comments that's being like, hey, hey, you're right. I agree. Like just such psychotic behavior. Yeah. It was wild. So that's, that's my best boy. That's so weird. Right? I like it's so weird that's hype that's like to have this so much vitriol in your system that you went through and like made a list of everyone you're like he's switching up how dare you make that comment because they haven't said anything else about MAJ he's just like he's like Julia Stunt said it and it was like okay yeah she probably still holds the same opinion we're talking about me here G who cares who there's such a weird like need for creators to like love a thing you love too yes. like it's so weird whenever a creator like comes out with like an opinion contrary to like popular opinion yeah. of like a movie or a show or something and it's just like people are pissed like people are livid it's yeah. like don't put all your trust in one person's go opinion. Go see yeah. the movie. Go see a movie. Yeah. Go enjoy a thing if you enjoy it. Yeah. Like, that's so funny. You think I let people telling me for years that Michael Bay's movies aren't good sway my love of Michael Bay movies? No, I watched them again. If you're not going to watch it, I'll watch it for the both of us. I'll give it two streams. That and Adam Sandler. You kidding me? You know why Adam Sandler is one of the most streamed people on Netflix? Well, one, because he's from New England. It's because it? of you? Yeah. You know, I was going to say <laughs> like, me. But like also because if you're from New England, if there's ever somebody famous from New England, you're like obligated to watch everything they're in. It's like mm-hmm. Mark Wahlberg, John Cena, Adam Sandler, and we have to ride or die for every fucking thing they do. It's, it's awful, but it's unfortunately the way that it goes. Yeah. So do you have a best uh, boy this week? Uh, my best boy, I'm trying to think. I'm Buzzfeed scrambling. quizzes? It might be Buzzfeed yeah. quizzes. Yeah, the guy with a gun to his head trying to make a quiz that only a third of people can pass. I spent so much brain power finding this quiz. Mm-hmm. I feel like I saw like an episode or something of an anime this season or like this week. Okay. I saw Buddy Daddies. I'm Devastating. catching up. I haven't seen it. I'm not caught up. I oh. hear it's getting very sad. So sad. Uh, me and Dorothy watch it again. Full. Like, I could do. I could do the thing every week where I was like, me and Dorothy watch Buddy Daddies and cried. Jeez. Like it's just. It's just every week. I mean, the past two weeks. It's been good. You're definitely. Weeks. You're winning me over. And it's because I haven't seen Spy Family in so long. But mm. like, I am like, man, Buddy Daddies is pretty good. It's a pretty good show. This makes heart grow fonder. Though. Yeah. Well. Not with media. That's fair. Yeah, yeah, I just forget it exists. That's what I love about being a content creator, though, is that, like, people like will be in my comments and be like, did you see Attack on Titan's new episodes coming out? They'll be like, I forgot Attack on Titan existed for yeah. six months. I know. Uh, yeah, Attack on Titan is taking, like, the Boruto route of, like, making sure I'm not hyped for every new iteration. Yeah. Where it's just like... Okay, cool. An hour every six months. Nice. Sick. How exciting. I'm locked in. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I do have a best boy. Okay, please. My best boy Mm. is Cubes. I'm glad you asked, Nick. Okay. (laughs) I'm I'm genuinely curious. Have you noticed? Cubert? Have you noticed? Cubert isn't even a cube, Nick. Get Uh, real. Yeah, but like- Get serious, please. Cubert's best boy would be Cubes. Because he hops on him. Because he loves him. He does. He's literally his job. Yeah, he do be loving. That's an incredibly niche and old people reference. If you got that, we're we're too old. <laughs> That's no worse than the shit I pull up, like Hamtaro. That was my Hamtaro thing is, today. I don't. We don't even know what it's from. It's one of those things where the icon it's like is like Ham more, Ham or something, right? Well, like you know those like moments where the icon is significantly more iconic than the thing it comes from. Yeah, like a Dragon Ball. I he's from Hamtaro. Okay. He's the titular Hamtaro. Hamtaro. Yeah. He is Jessica online. Yeah. Okay, yeah. gotcha. <laughs> um, but uh I have you ever noticed that the like the sign of good animation nowadays, and I'm not discrediting anyone, I'm not making fun of anything. I know exactly where you're I going agree. With this. Yep. It's low detail cubes. I don't, I don't get it. It's things either. turning into cubes. It's the pain fight, is what started it. 
Is it? It is. It is absolutely 1000% the pain fight. That's great. I would have thought Studio Bones was at the forefront of it because they, my hero has a lot of cubing. So I'm just, I, I guess I'm saying it's a pain fight because that's the earliest circumstance I can think of the cubing happening. Mm -hmm. I know exactly what you're talking about mm -hmm. and I don't love it. No, I don't hate it either yeah. though. So here's my thing: the the, the pain fight is very de like divisive. Yeah, because it, it looks bad. <laughs> objectively, it looks awful, but it also looks so terrible. It's really fun. It, yeah, and people say that it was it was done that way to like show how fast they were moving. Like it was a directorial like, and I don't I don't know because it's so bad. Well, it's like it's almost as if do you know what smear frames are? Sort of. It's when you skip a frame in the middle to make motion. No, in, oh. it's so. In between, like, keyframes, which are, like, key poses. Like, gotcha. you know, you wind up a punch, that's one keyframe. Mm. Finish the punch, that's the second keyframe. Yeah. And then you have animators doing the in-betweens. They'll do smear frames where, like, if you just pause in the middle of a fight, mm -hmm. you'll see, like someone's head just a big smear gotcha. or something like yeah. like the proportions are whack mm -hmm. but when you want when you pause on it it looks ridiculous but it's but in meant motion, to give like fluid motion yeah, yeah in motion it gives fluidity it gives a lot of impact all animation does it like almost yeah. all an 2d animation does it mm -hmm. the pain fight is as if they replaced the keyframes with smear frames. Yeah, exactly. Like, like oh, the, there's so much silly ass looking faces in it. There's no point in which you can pause it and it's not. It's like, they're like, usually like you have to like try. You're like, oh, look yeah. how stupid that looks. It, the entire pain fight is just like Payne's like face is a bean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's literally, he gets hit. Or he turns something. into a swordfish at one point. Yeah, like there's yeah. so many like weird, and I don't know, like I have to assume for my own mental health that it was on purpose. Because look, why else would you make it look that bad? Like it, yeah. it, it, it had to be willing. And now like there's kind of been this like motion where people are looking back at it and being like, I actually like the way it looks and I'm kind of on that boat. Mm -hmm. But like this, the same thing happened. Like Payne's like throwing cubes and every, like, right. every time he punches something, it blows up into cubes. And like, I can't tell if that's because it's laziness Cause like it's significantly easier to draw 30 cubes yeah. as they break as opposed to like a shit ton of like well detailed rubble. Right. Like throwing somebody through a building and it like blows up into cubes is way easier than like, like being like glasses breaking. There's eye, yeah. like eye beams bending. All I that. mean, it for sure is. And I wonder if they just like pulled the greatest con in history and of like, being like, they're, Ooh. they're like, Oh no, it's cooler. What? It's cheaper too. Yeah. What a fun coincidence. How, how chic, how thrift chic. Yeah. It's like, like, it's literally like super Saiyan. Like, you know how the super Saiyan blonde hair form is because, uh, Toriyama's editor was like, Toriyama was like, I'm giving Goku a new form. And uh -huh. he was like, you should make him blonde so we can save on ink, ink that's because so it's just funny. white. I wonder if it's like that where it's like, ooh, an iconic form that saves us funds. How much money do you actually, I guess when you have to print like hundreds of thousands yeah. of copies, a little bit goes a long that way. Adds up of like, just black. Like, yeah, I guess just like just his whole so hair. much of it too. Yeah. Just, it's like a whole yeah. panel True, of hair. I wonder if he showed him the design and he's like, we're not coloring we that. We cannot no afford that to be shot. blue. Yeah. That is white. Yeah. He's like, he's blonde now. Yeah, <laughs> like, like that is an Aryan man, yeah. motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, no, so I definitely, that's, I, cause like MHA has got a lot of shit for its animation this season, but I think the last couple of episodes have looked very good, but the yeah. cubing thing, it's they cube. Um, Full Metal Alchemist has some of that a bit. See, what's interesting about Full Metal, though, is that Full Metal is only the cubes when, like, Edward is, like, attacking somebody with, like, attacking somebody with a rock or something. Right. And then, like, ride on it. Like, yeah, I, like yeah. also, like, it's, like, Yamato's Wood. And yeah, then, Yamato's Wood. Mm -hmm. Um, Fucking Mob Psycho has big cube energy. You're absolutely right. BCE yeah. and Mob Psycho. BCE, yeah, big, big cube, cube energy, energy, baby. Like anytime like Mob like explodes something or yeah. like, like blows it up with his like It's always like an yeah. explosion with a bunch of cubes around like the core of the fire and then they go. I feel like it definitely is a stylistic choice, but we've mm -hmm. also like kind of been gaslight, like gaslit into thinking it's nice. Yeah, it's cool. I like it. I am like, now I'm like, it's a little gimmicky now where I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, cubes. Yeah. I'm going to see this on TikTok of best fucking, this best, is better than best fate. Best fight of all time. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, cause fate definitely doesn't do that. Yeah. Like fate is like every single frame, every single thing that's getting broken is animated. Yeah. It takes so long. Yeah. It's so much money. UFO, UFO table, table, baby. U UFO, ta <laughs> UFO table. Different pronunciations of the same. UFO table. 
UFO table. Yep, UFO table. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. All right. Do you want to do our flashback episode? Yeah. I have a flashback episode, so don't worry. Oh, that I one's can... news, right? Yes. I should have learned the terms. I also have one, so go Okay, on. cool. I uh, don't have a love letter. We got a solo leveling trailer. Yeah, we did. And it looks really good. Here's the thing about solo leveling. Please. I now have as it. As a well-informed solo leveling fan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, as a solo levelist, if you mm. will. I now have it, so I will read it. You're basically Korean. The <laughs> yeah, 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 that's how you do it, actually. That's how you get yeah. it. Yeah, that's yeah. like a green card. You just bring just, solo leveling across like, the I have all five, and they're yeah. like, get in there. Go get some dog key. Go, go, go. go. Like, Thank you. I'm going but, to the DMV. Um, they, uh... Z. The DMV. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the DMV. Go to the DMV. I, uh... The thing, the irony about solo leveling, and I haven't seen, I haven't read it, as you know, mm. so, like, maybe the fights are sick, and, like, I know a lot of people are like, yeah. I can't wait to see this shit get animated. It's gonna look so good. Here's the thing. Yeah. I, like, already know what it it's gonna of, look it like. It kind of already has been. Yeah. yeah like, it's already been it, animated. It's like, just gonna look like that, but move. It's this. Like, yeah, like, you could just... Throw in some smear frames. Yeah. Like, that, literally just, just it's tie done. these scenes to yeah. each other, and you're good. That's the anime. That's why, like, when I read, like... I don't want to do Vinland Saga again. I want a new one. Like, well, like when I read, like, uh, Claymore, mm -hmm. I'm like, man, like, I, I do want to check out how this fight looked in the anime. Because it's, like, there's no color. It's not, like... It's hyper-detailed, but, like, just a few, like, keyframes. Like... Yeah. That... I know what the anime is going to look exactly, like. Exactly, because the colors have been there. The stylistic yeah. choices are probably going to be very similar. Mm. I think the same thing about, like, colored manga. But, like, you like whenever I see a colored manga, it's very different in the anime. Because, like, yeah. the, like, the anime of, like, Naruto and the manga of Naruto don't look alike yeah. at all. The colors are usually more, like, pastel-y in exactly. manga. Yeah. So, like, that is, like, absolutely, like, if you just, like, took every single, like, scene in, in Soul Leveling yeah. and then just, like, smash it together in a flip book, that's probably what we're going to get. Well, oh, sorry. No, please. Well, I was also just going to say that it's also, like, manga has more of, like, a hand-drawn kind of look. Yeah. So you're also like, oh, what would this look like cleaned up? Yeah. Like, the Chainsaw Man manga looks almost nothing like the anime. Yeah. This is, like, all digital. It's exactly. All it's clean. already been done yeah, on, it, on, like, a digital aspect, so it's already going to look like consuming it through a digital device. Yeah. I'm the only one who would want this, but I was almost hoping that in that trailer... I'd see like they're like yeah this is what sets the anime apart like yeah. a like like the colors are kind of fucked or like different it's like, like all chainsaw inverted man. or something yeah, yeah yeah like like just something where it's like oh like check out this weird music choice or mm -hmm. something but well I think the sound design will be really big because like making it ominous in that's what I've realized is and this has been going on in my hero right now. Mm -hmm. Um, cause I'm caught up with the My Hero manga. I've been reading it weekly. Mm. Uh, but I currently they're going through like the end of the vigilante arc in it with Deku right now. And I was reading through the manga and I was like, oh, this is really cute. Like they're bringing it back into UA and all of that. Like what a great moment. Like Uchaku standing up there with a mic and she's being like, listen, like let him rest. And I was like, this is nice. I'm happy everyone's coming together. I never cry over a manga. Right. I cry over anime. Interesting. Uh, like I'm rewatching these. Like I know what happens. I know exactly how the My Hero manga plays out. I'm rewatching these moments in the anime and I see Uchako up there and I'm fucking bawling because it's things like the sound design and like, like the projection of the voice and yeah. all that. Like, even if it does look similar, like the artistic choices to bring it to life to yeah. me, make it feel much more emotional. I see that. Yeah. I do want to correct you real quick. It's Ochako. Not what was I saying? Uchaku. Uchaku? As if she's an otaku. Like uh, otaku or like a uh, like a chaco taco? Yeah. <laughs> taco taco otaku? Yeah. Yeah. So okay. I'm sorry. You I got, just, I, you you got me. get comments. You got me. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So that's all that matters. So I think that like, regardless of like the artistic choices, I think like bringing it to life, like bringing it off the page yeah. has like such a bigger emotional impact. But also maybe I'm just a psychopath when I'm reading. Who knows? No, interesting. So, I, I feel that. You won me over. So you did like the trailer. I like the trailer enough as someone who hasn't read the Are thing. you going to try and watch, like read the books before you watch it? Or are you just going to be like, fuck it, I'm watching it? I think, when's it come out? Like next winter, right? Is it that far out? I think something is like, some trailer dropped recently and it was like, next winter. And I was like, fucking what? Q1 2024. Yeah, next yeah. winter. Yikes. I'll read it. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. got some time. I mean, yeah. I'm assuming they're going to do, because it's being animated by... Uh, it's being produced by A1. I don't know who's animating it. What language is it going to be in? Oh, Japanese, for sure. Gotcha. I thought it was I mean, like it's Korean. A1. Yeah, A1's yeah. a Japanese company. Got so. you, got you. It would uh, be crazy. I, I don't know. It would be cool if it wasn't Korean, though. It's, yeah. 
That would be cool. Like, I mean, Donghua, like, are Chinese. Yeah. But they're also so made like, in China. Exactly. So, yeah. yeah. So. so, I was actually, re- like, I was watching the most recent episode of Blue Lock, mm-hmm. and it's, like, them versus, like, the World Five right now. Mm-hmm. Like, speaking of, like, other languages in anime, and it was, like, a Portuguese dude, a Brazilian guy, a bunch of other than, like, an English dude. And you could tell, for the English guy, they brought in an English voice actor. Mm-hmm. And for everybody else, it was just Japanese dudes. Damn. And it was Japanese dudes speaking in English in, like, a Spanish accent. Whoa. The funniest mishmash of, like, what they believe it should sound like of all time. That's funny. It was, funny. like, very clearly, like, Japanese dudes who don't speak English trying to do a Portuguese accent to speak in English on a Japanese show. So fucking funny, dude. It was awesome i loved it that's super funny and it was it was so weird because the dichotomy of just the english soccer player just like perfect english and everybody else is like i yeah. know what you're doing <laughs> yeah. and it's just like what is the what what accent are we going for currently yeah. i'm i'm like in the same boat where it is such a weird like plus in my book if a like show or game mm. gets the actual languages for the characters right. like a great i have a great comparison where Tekken has like big roster of characters, the video game, big roster of characters all from all around the world. And if you play someone from Brazil, they often speak Brazilian, which makes sense. Yeah. The people from America, English, Japan, Japanese, and they're all like all sick. Like they feel very respectable for their countries. I don't know how good the voice acting is. Yeah, like, but like, that's the beauty of like watching it in sub. Like, yeah. I, don't, I don't know how, like this could be the worst line delivery of all time. I think it's sick. Yeah, exactly. But it's super cool. Like when I like pick Miguel in Tekken mm. and he's speaking Spanish, like that's hype. Yeah. But then street fighter has like a similar situation. Characters from all around the world just coming out in their most like racist stereotype. Oh, actually all speaking English. Like you got like the Jamaican character, like comes out with like a smile, half the size of his head, shaking maracas and like, like dancing oh, I'm around. Listening to Bob Marley. Yeah. Like that's the last time I'm going to do a Jamaican accent. Good. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 that's for the best. That's like, the last time we do that one. All right. We'll tuck yeah. that one away. You got like E Honda, this big sumo coming out doing mm. an accent. I won't be doing yeah. like, <laughs> doing an accent. <laughs> I know better yeah. than Nick not to do. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's just like, it's so cool. I don't know. It adds like an authenticity when they're like doing oh, actually, the actually like actual, speaking the language, yeah, of course. Yeah. But at the same time, I'd rather but not. At the same time, you had a lot of fun doing that accent. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Here I am asking for voice work to do a Jamaican guy. Um, no, like I literally like, I just like either get the actors or just have them speak Japanese. Yeah. True, like, just true, don't, yeah. like if you're going to have Japanese dudes speaking English 100%. in a Portuguese accent, yeah. just have them speak Japanese. 100%. Like I don't need that level of immersion. Cause like, honestly, if anything, it took me out of it. I was like, these yeah. are like yeah. the second they started talking, I was like, those are dudes in studios. That Cause sucks. like you're watching, you're watching Isagi and you're like, Oh my God, this is a soccer player. If you just started speaking broken English in a Japanese <laughs> accent, you'd be like, that's a guy in a booth in his house. Like yeah. I can hear his like yeah, the his, echo. Yeah, yeah I can, like hear the echo. I can yeah. hear his like kettle, like his kettle going off in the yeah. background. So that's all I have for flashback episode. Do you have anything? Uh, we'll be very short. Uh, mm-hmm. Speaking of trailers, a trailer for the new Pokemon anime not featuring Ash dropped. Babe, this was my this was my news like two and a half three I weeks ago. Think it was. Think no, it- I think the existence of the anime. Was your news? Was that it? The trailer just dropped. Okay, and what? Okay, I, and I, I guess have I'm not, done. I haven't seen it. That's does it's it look an, good? Oh, it's okay. Looks Let's fine. move on. Middle of the road. This is not good podcast there's content. Two, is there? There's two MCs, right? There's two MCs. Uh, okay. One boy, one girl. Look at them covering all the bases. Yeah. Oh yeah. Fuck so it, that's all. exciting. That's cool. Wow. Because like you said, Ash was never. The, the main, main character. character. Speak to. It was Light Yagami. It was Light so, Yagami. In his, <laughs> yes, in his death ball. Yeah. Yeah, you just had to write your name on the ball, and if you yeah. got captured with it, you would die in the ball. <laughs> yeah, and then he would just, you would live in there, and that was the end of the story. Like, might as well shoot somebody. <laughs> I know, I know, like, like, just use the Glock. Yeah. Okay, love letter. Love then. letter. My love letter is what anime power system would you want? Oh, let's go. Let's go. Pretty good one, right? Is it power system or? Power system. Like what? whole whole system, and then I, I want you to comment on like what like power system you'd want to be a part of, and then what power. So like oh. Demon Slayer's power system, what breathing technique? Naruto's jutsu's what type? You know what gotcha, I mean? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I would have to say if I wanted a power system, I would probably go with Hunter Hunter. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, just because of the sheer amount of possibilities you can have with Hunter x Hunter. Like, like, all of the different Nen specialties, like, allow you to basically be whatever it is you want to be. And while I would want to be a specialist, because, like, the specialists are the best, I have a feeling people tell me I would be a manipulator, which makes me sad. Uh, or a transmitter, which also makes me sad, even though Kilo Wall was a transmitter. Uh, I would want to be a specialist, because, like, you get to do basically whatever you want. Like, right. there's people who can tell the future, there's people who can make wishes come true as specialists, uh, there's people who can steal other people's, like, other Nen abilities... So I would want to be in Hunter Hunter because of the sheer amount of things you can accomplish with it. Chakra is just like, oh, I made a fireball. I made lightning. I made wind. Okay, yeah. cool. What am True. I gonna do with what am I gonna do with fireball? Also, this is such a bitch. You don't even by the end of Naruto, you don't that was actually those are some good back to back hand signs. Don't think I haven't practiced. Those are good like, back to back hand signs right I do, there. I do this and then I like Make some you shit. You free up. ball. You free yeah. ball from there. That's yeah. all you need to know is this one. And all, this is so satisfying. All you need is this. It is great. For so what, for listeners only, it's say. uh it's it's actually when you, like, you take the reins. Yeah. So it's when you interlock your fingers and you point up your two pointer fingers together. I think it's it's either boar or something. It's part of the great fireball technique. Uh it's the one that the first one that Sasuke uses when he takes Naruto's hand and he does the three signs. Agreed. I'm just shutting the door. We have to get that rounded out. We gotta, we gotta sound. fill that audio. But yes, um, so you would, so I would want Hunter Hunter. I would want to be a specialist. What would you want? First, I just want to say that the worst one is definitely a uh, breathing style from Demon Slayer. Because what would you use it for? Also, you're not even making the element you're like breathing. That's after. why it's bullshit. That's like one of the only instances where like the entire fandom almost unanimously it's like disagrees with the manga. Yeah. yeah, they're like they're doing that stuff yeah. like hundred percent. Um, but uh there is certain techniques in the capacity of breathing style that just don't make sense yeah. without them making the element like Moshiro's uh like last technique where he moves re- you'll you'll learn it eventually but it's like he basically shrouds the entire battlefield in mist and it's explained that he moves in such a way that makes it feel as though he's moving through mist bullshit like it's like it's like when he's Running away, he's moving fast. When he's moving towards you, he's moving slow, and therefore it makes you think that there's mist. Hey, how about every time Zenitsu was flown through the air? Yeah, well, so like the, that's literally. But so the way Zenitsu does that is that he like uses the muscle in his legs to shoot himself through the air. Like his his leg muscles are so strong that he can bounce off air. But that is already a superhuman feat. Mm-hmm. Like, why are we trying to be like, no, it's realistic. It's just sword stuff. Just, they're magic. Yeah. Like, they're doing magic shit. You want to know the worst part? Is that there is actually two separate people in Demon Slayer who can create lightning. Insane. Yeah, so there's, there, yeah, there's two separate people. One of them we're about to meet. uh, The other you meet significantly later. Uh, So, like, there is people who can create elements. Yeah. It's just only demons. That's crazy. Yeah, and, like, most of the demons, and, like, and what I mean most, like, most of the important demons can create elements. Yeah. Like, umberkinesis, ice control, uh, electrokinesis, aerokinesis, like, most of the breathing styles can, like, be created by demons. Right. So, like, the fact that the demon slayers can't do it is just, like, wildly disrespectful to them, but not the end of the world. I, like, get it in terms of, like, you want to make the demons have, like, an advantage over the demon slayers. Yeah. That's not what you did, though. No. Nope. Like, you just simply are lying. Yeah. But, uh... Also, the demons already have an inherent, like, advantage. They can yeah. regenerate. Yeah, exactly. And but, they're um, always fighting at night. That's what Tanjiro was yelling about, get a, like, against Akasa. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, I would choose... I Part of me wants, um... Not Rasengan. Chidori. Because I think that'd be sick. What are you gonna do? I just like With a it. handful of lightning, you domestic terrorist. Just doing, doing the, this, the hand, is uh, sick. Just reaching down and pulling yeah. up. It's just like, you can only attack in a straight line. You don't have a Sharingan. I guess, well, if we're like talking about like all practicality of like stuff, I think, and I know it's not an anime, I know it's technically not an anime, I would 100% be like a waterbender. 100%. I'd say Earthbender, but then you're getting fined left, right, and center anytime you use it. What do you mean getting fined? If I go outside and tear up the fucking street right now... What are they gonna do to you? They're gonna fine me at minimum. I'd love to see them fucking least. try. You're gonna eat this goddamn boulder, you nerd. It's just inconsiderate to uh, everybody. To I everyone guess. on this street. And you, that's why you carry, you carry a couple rocks with you, like Magneto. With I like, carry a, a bunch like, of water. And water's uh, like a sexier one, too. I'm at a party. Some girls got water. I'd like go tink, freeze it. She's like, oh my God. <laughs> she was like, oh my God, that's incredibly inconvenient. Why the fuck would you do that? But if I'm the only person who can do that, that's sick. I guess. Um, She's just like, oh wow, I was absolutely going to drink that. Like, if, if we're not. I was 30 year old scotch. What the fuck? <laughs> like, 
<laughs> then I un, you know, I undo it. Oh, of course. Yeah. yeah. You're like, you just like hold her hostage. Yeah, I go, fine, Jesus Christ. Yeah, oh like, my god, you all you do yeah. is nag. Um like firebending would be cool, but it's like you said, like that's all just What are you doing? Damaging. Yeah, what are you doing? Like that's the thing. Like, but that one's also a little sexy. He's just like also, you, you need a light. Fly. And kind of fly. Yeah, but that's another one where it's like I'm making a fucking trail of trail fire. of cinder under me. Yeah, yeah. yeah just like it's like I can tell where Danny took off. It's yeah. because that's where the wildfire started. Yeah, I like. Yeah, bending's just like so cool. That's the one that I've most like. You know, imaginarily done. Like in my room. The worst part about attack uh, attack on attack on Avatar. Um, <laughs> the worst part about Avatar: the Last Airbender is that they try and act like the Earthbenders aren't the strongest. That's what always pissed me off. I know. They were like, oh, yeah, like, the Earth, first off, the Earth Kingdom is the biggest kingdom. Yeah, by most far. populated. Yep, like, by far, they, in order to find the avatars in, like, av- like in the Earth Kingdom, they have to do, like, a divining where they split the Earth Kingdom into halves until eventually they find yeah. the avatars kind of location, yeah. which is why they literally found the wrong avatar when Kyoshi, it was Kyoshi's turn. Yeah. They found, like, her next door neighbor or something. Like, that's how big their kingdom is. Like, the air nomads are just like, oh, there he is. Yeah, here's oh, some fucking, toys. Fa- fucking yeah. found him. Yeah. That was hard. <laughs> like, it's just, Earth Kingdom's like, I'm trying yeah. to split the- Los Angeles looking for a motherfucker who can fire back. The air nomads are just like, hey, it's me. Yeah. Like, like, I, yeah. I just, I accidentally who, bended water back who, there. Can anybody he, else? Who's no, the avatar? Me. You? Chris is the avatar. Chris is... Nice. Cool. Sick. That's cool. All right. Hey, Chris the avatar. Good job, Chris. And then they're, they're just fine. Like, meanwhile, yeah. not, like they're doing, like, housing projects. Like, yeah. what apartment number is it? No, it's funny, too, because in the Shyamalan movie, mm-hmm. like, they nerf the firebenders. Do you know about that? No. They... Oh, they can't make their own fire. They can't make it. Yeah. They need to, like, Have take the object it from a brazier or yeah. something. What? Why? It's so... You're... I go years without mm. being near a fire and i get that like back then you've got like there's some torches about there's candles there's some braziers i you're hammering the brazier word <laughs> it's, it's a, a word, word i know but it's not everywhere a word I, in that movie because I, they need ammo i think that's the first time i've said brazier out loud it's they're everywhere in the movie mm-hmm. i'm just painting an image you really are they th- so they need fire which is insane because no other element really does. Yeah. You just carry water on you. There's water Everywhere. over most of the planet. 70%. And then they're like, the, the Fire Nation is taking over. They're beating us. How? No the fuck they aren't. Put their fire out. Yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, like, oh, okay, yeah, like, imagine. They're like, hey, actually, can you just let us get yeah. this fire started real quick? Like, before we start this battle. If you miss your fireball and it doesn't hit grass ammo gone yep like you you're just a there man goes, now there goes your source yeah In, you, insane you are a man with kicks yeah and that's the only reason the m night Shyamalan movie was bad the movie's a masterpiece the movie is an absolute yeah. math i'd actually like to revisit it one day yeah and rewatch it 100 percent. i'm i plan to i'm almost done reacting to season one actually yeah oh we'll i think we should do that we'll do a little watch yeah we absolutely should okay uh oh. that is all oh, did you have a question as well i had a love letter very quick we'll do it fast okay go ahead um mine was Someone asked, I won't pull it up because I can't find it. Gotcha. Someone asked, um, if you could give any live action anime adaptation, like a Marvel CGI budget. And I replied, what, like $40? And he got very upset. But if have, you, you, have you seen Moon Knight? Like you, what? Like, have you yeah. seen any modern Marvel movie? Yeah, they're not good. Um, but if you could give any adaptation, like a Marvel movie level budget, what would it be? Any live action adaptation. I think honestly, if you had to really get one, Attack on Titan looks terrible. True, Formula Optimus, true. like their like live action also looks terrible. Yeah. Like these are two things. I think at the end of the day, I might say One Piece. I think it's if you could make one too. Like just pull an anime and give it one. I when you said I would say Hunter Hunter, but seeing Hisoka live action would be like oh, viscerally just... very upsetting for me. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know if I would want that. I would maybe do Attack on Titan. Yeah. I'd like always dreamed of making like Attack on Titan. Like a super gory, well-made Attack yeah. on Titan live action would be sick. That bang. That like goes that so hard. It didn't look like it was like, like a CGI, fil- like a Snapchat filter looking over yeah. the wall. Because like there is, what, three Attack on Titan live action movies? Yeah. And bad. they're all, all very bad. bad. They all get gr- worse. All hard to look at. Yeah. So I would say that. Yeah, Attack on Titan or Hunter Hunter personally, because like seeing like live action, like well done CGI, like Chimera Ants. Yeah. So dope. To see Netero versus Meruem in CG would be sick. <laughs> I mean, it's already really good in 2D. So yeah. yeah. That'd oh. be sweet. I would just, it's always been my dream 
to make uh, a Fire Force live action movie. Oh, my I think God. that would be sick. I think it'd be rad. The entire hell. CG bu budget would just go into like everybody's boobs. Yeah. Because there's so much fan service in that show. Huge boobs. But Huge seeing fire. Shin, a, like a good live action like casting of Shin would be sick. Uh, Shinra? Shinra? Yeah, Shinra. Um, oh, man. That'd but it'd be incredible. sweet. The action's great. But I'll stop holding this podcast hostage. Yes. No, I appreciate that. I have to get to dinner. Mm hmm. I, I have. I have. Adult. That's the going. pod. That's the pod. Thank you guys <laughs> so much just for coming stare today. Stare into the camera uh, and go. Thank I you for hanging out for us today. We have been in Talkers Anonymous. Uh, if you guys really do want to see us do anything in terms of polls or questions, uh, shoot us an email over at Otaku's Anonymous Podcast at gmail.com or leave the comments in the YouTube section or, or hit us up on Twitter at Otaku's Anon. Uh, a lot of places you can reach us with those questions. We would love to cover them. Give us more viral TikToking moments so we can have a bunch of us listening. And yeah. then me and Danny can go on a world tour and hold your hands. I've been Nick, also known as NC Hammer 23. I've been Danny Mata. Uh, uh, yeah, give us some games um, to play, like this quiz. It was very fun. It was awful. It was great. Uniquely I loved it. terrible experience. Um, and yeah, you can find me at Danny Mata on YouTube, uh, at DMOT. To three at D Mata three. The fact three. you don't know all your handles, hilarious. I have too many. I need to homogenize. D Mata three on TikTok. That's the last square. Yeah. Danny needs to homogenize, homogenize his yeah. squares. All right, perfect. All right, thank you all so much. Bye. 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 bye, bye.